Hello everyone and welcome to another StarCraft 2 commentary with EXO and today I'm going to be bringing you a match again between two clanmates so it's going to be Root QXC spawning as the Red Terran at the 7 o'clock position rather 8 o'clock position and Root Cat spawning as the Blue Zerg at the 2 o'clock position now we're going to have a match on Metalopolis and I am afraid that is going to be another <clears throat> uh huh so it's a sparring match uh, it seems um, between these two. Uh, so it's going to be another turn versus Zerg, which is my favorite matchup, and there's like an abundance of these matches already. It's hard to get yourself... It's hard to get um, yourself... Uh, to get your hands on, damn it, to get your hands on games these days <coughs> that are... that don't contain uh, Zerg and a Terran in them, and obviously it's uh, very likely that you're gonna encounter Terran versus Zerg. It seems like Protoss is becoming scarce. It's it's like people don't want to play Protoss anymore. I don't know if it's the uh, I mean the the players that have originally be stayed faithful. I mean begun uh, playing Protoss uh, still do play Protoss, but um, <clears throat> I don't see I see many of the other players, a lot of the amateurs and. Um, that are uh, generally people who are st who are still pretty much undecided on which ra which race to play. They're kind of dropping Protoss and they're heading towards one of these other races. A lot of people migrating towards Zerg lately. Um, I don't know if you've been watching the GSL, but uh, maybe you should uh, check out some of Liquid Red's games in the GSL and generally, and even MLG Dallas. Why not? He's really good and he does some really, really insane macro and just uh, uses the race's potential to its fullest. And many people do <coughs> believe that the Zerg has the most potential of all races when it comes to. I mean, the skill cap is highest there, so to speak. I mean, there is no skill cap basically for Zerg, while well, people say that it's, you know, more down to earth when it comes to Terran and Protoss. Anyway, a lot of chatting going on here. I didn't follow the discussion. I hope you guys have. I'm sure it's something fun that they're talking about. And um, I'm going to talk a bit about the game right now. And the Orbital Command is on the way. So <clears throat> pretty standard opening here. Barracks into gas. That's pretty much it. And we have a bunker over here. One drone being pulled off the line. Just one drone for now. Um, trying to um, deal with the pesky SCV here that is building the bunker. Now he's going to have to uh, cancel this um, bunker. I mean, he's going to have to take the SCV off. Now we have two drones coming off the line. And the third... Um, <clears throat> now do keep in mind that this is not just... Um, this is not just... I mean, if you look at this... Uh, it, it, the effect of this bunker is actually pretty huge. He has four drones that are taken off the line to deal with this uh, three now to deal with this bunker. Now the bunker is most likely going. No, it's not going to get canceled. Not yet, but um, it is going to most likely get canceled now. And thing is, these drones actually move faster than a marine. In case you don't know that, well, you're gonna find out right now. Look at the marine and look at the drones w wiggling their little tails over there <clears throat> and um, catching up to this marine. And let's see. Seems like oh, and one more hit. He should have stayed and killed off that one right now. Um, there are some zerglings coming out for cats now. Cats has uh, stolen the gas over here, which means that this pretty much nullifies Banshee harass. Now the zerglings are taking down this bunker. Is it gonna? No, it doesn't get canceled. From what I uh, from what I could tell, it just uh, went down. So no mineral refund there for QXC. Now uh, zergling speed is on the way. And I'm gonna take a look at the Terran player. So factory is done, and an early command center is on the way as well. So this is pretty much a fast expand build. Uh, obviously, since that gas was stolen, um, not much to do there. And the drone getting picked off over there, and these zerglings are gonna be moving around over here. The thing is, uh, while the zerglings are on creep, it's easier for them to deal with the marines. But if they're not, then it is harder. So anyway, one queen out for cats, and the second one coming out here at the natural. Zergling speed almost done. Now another barracks being planted over here for QAC, so this will probably mean uh, actually two more barracks. So yeah, QAC actually pretty uh, pretty uh, known for his uh, intense infantry builds. That's pretty much what I've seen. And a helion is making its way in the mineral line. And oh 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 oh, gotta be careful with the queen over there. Doesn't want to lose the queen. Now the zerglings are on creep, but the helion is doing some damage as well. Let's see if it's gonna get more shots off. There we go, picking off a few zerglings and probably gonna roast these as well. There we go. So all the zerglings getting killed, but uh, the marines did go down as well. Now the thing is, <clears throat> when you do this to your zerg opponent, um, he's forced to use his larva to make additional zerglings, which means he's not gonna drone up so much. 
Now the extractor is going to go down over here, so QXC is going to be getting his second gas. Um, the thing is, uh, he has, so he has, what is this, tech lab uh, reactor, so two reactors, so it's going to be a lot of marines coupled with some marauders. Now let's see if Katz is going to go for some eventual bailings in this game. Obviously bailings something you really want to have when facing infantry, because um, it's just... Uh, it's needed. I mean, you need to, unless the, your turn opponent is extremely good at microing his uh, his army and spreading his marines and so forth. Uh, you really need bailings, and bailings will do the trick if you use them right, especially in in um, in um, conjunction with um, what's it called, fungal growth. So, <clears throat> yeah, infestor is another great tool to use against uh, against Terran infantry. Now. We have Stimpak going down for a QXC, and two more extractors over here. So this might mean uh, the layer is already up, so this could probably mean Mutalisk. Let's see if Aspire is going to go down, and where it will go down, if it is going to go down. There we go, Aspire is going down. Pretty unusual positioning. Usually you put this out of sight, maybe somewhere here, or ex expand the creep. Just put a creep tumor down somewhere here and get your Spire somewhere on this side, because um, uh, this is pretty up far in front and if you do lose your natural something goes bad you lose your spire as well but anyway this is how cats is playing it for now and um taking a look oh and siege siege mode is coming out as well which means that there we go the first tank is coming out the uh, second third tank actually my bad now looking at the accounting station um <clears throat> qxc doesn't have all that much he does have six drones extra but uh there we go is like two mules up for qxc as well so um oh a lot of drones right now so that's like 12 drones lead and um but Q uh, qxc does have a larger army now taking a look at the income tab obviously um yeah cats is uh well no they're pretty much equal right now even though he has extra drones um, those mules really do make a difference, but the thing is, cats does have the extra gas income, which is always nice when uh, when you're zerg, obviously because you need them for needed for bailings, mutilisk, and so forth. Now we see flyer upgrade, uh, flyer weapons level one over here, um, uh, getting upgraded, which means we're probably gonna see mutilisk, if not uh, corruptors or something, if he does need them for anything. No medivacs out yet, and no starport from what I could tell. Another command center. Well, this is impressive. Uh, pretty aggressive uh, expand uh, build from uh, from QXC. Now QXC has a pretty good army, and this is going to get canceled indeed. And here we have uh, banning this is almost completed, but not quite yet. And you, he's you, he's really going to need those banlings to deal with uh, with the marines. Now a scan is going down. He sees the mutas. He sees that there's not much stuff here for cats, and um, he might take the opportunity. Thing is. These banelings are morphing really fast, and let's see if he does decide to go in there, and whoa, 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 gotta be careful with the queen, and <clears throat> there we go, the banelings are done, trying to get some shots off at these overlords, but he might just send those banelings in there, oh, and he sees one bailing, and that's gonna ruin the secret for uh, for cats, he's not gonna be able to hide his banelings, and here we go, the zerglings are going in, the splash from the siege tanks is doing a lot of damage to those marines, now, thing is, um, mm, it's pretty good what happened over here. Thing is, he lost all his bail bailings, but he killed the tanks and the marines, which is always a good thing. But um, QXC has replenished his army pretty much. Also, Bunker here, uh, offering him uh, enough protection from any incoming attack at the front. Now, let's see if these Mutalisks are going to pick off uh, SCVs. There's one turret being planted over there, which is uh, really great for dealing with any Mutas. Trying to come in at the mineral line over there, and another turret over here. Now... Uh, taking a look at QXC, these tanks are pretty far up in front, and he doesn't—he doesn't really want to keep them up here at this ledge. Plus, some over here, it seems like he wants to keep some forward defense. He was waiting for um, some attack from Cats to come, but it didn't. But Cats sees this command center and is sending his zerglings now. And let's see if these zerglings are gonna get taken out. He's sieging up his tanks. Got to be careful. Where are the mutals? Now the mutals are um, moving along with the zerglings, which are now morphing into bailings. The uh, thing is, I think these mutas might maybe be put to better use to harass in uh, in the main for now. But we'll see. Uh, a planetary fortress is on the way here. 
Now these Banelings might actually be enough to take down the fortress along with the Mutalisk Fire. Now let's see if he does decide to use them in the in the, in the SCV line uh, or on this or on the Marines. Now there we go, the Marines are going down. A lot of damage being done to the tanks. Now the tanks might just go down, but the turrets are finished over here. So two turrets. Now those tanks are going to die uh, with the ricocheting uh, volley from the Mutalisk. Now there's two two turrets and you really don't want to fight those turrets. They have quite a lot of HP and they can get repaired. So two turrets more than uh, he can handle right now. Thing is QXC got his third up and Cat's got a gold and he's getting this one as well. But the thing is QXC is uh, in a very good position as a Terran to have three bases while uh, your Zerg is on four and really not saturating the others. Although now we have some drones coming at this bottom expansion over here. And some drones mining at the gold. Now, uh, thing is, if we look at the income tab, I'm just going to take a short look over here. Um, QXC is still in, is still ahead because of those mules. So mules actually offering him a, a huge advantage, although it's not that much of an advantage uh, because um, once the drones saturate these bases, it's going to be pretty much okay. Now. These mutas are making their way into the main. I believe he's going to try some harassment at the mineral line over here. And it's probably going to be successful as there's only one turret over here. And no no marines really in the base. Here we go. The mutalisk are making their way inside. And the, uh, it's got to be close. The, the turret doesn't go down though. That's surprising. And um, these mutas are trying to pick off whatever else they can. Now... If you look, if we look at what is this uh, flyer text level two? So level two um, weapons for the mutalisk incoming. Also armor level one almost done for the infantry on the Terran player. And a starport is on the way right now. Um, where is that starport? Here we go, starport. So some medivacs obviously going to be thrown into this mix. And um, taking a look at the uh, unit canning station. We're going to see that um, the Harvester count is pretty much even right now, so um, Z, especially if he gets those mules, is going to be ahead economy-wise. Now, there are 20 Mutalisk. That's quite a big number of Mutalisk um, to have, and uh, he needs to put them to better use, though. He's not really using them so much right now. Uh, has to be careful, because those Marines are really, are really not so good to deal with with just Mutalisk. So here we go. Most of his Zerglings are morphing into Banelings right now. And he's gonna have most likely enough time. Now, the thing is, you can siege your tank, and he's exactly doing that right now. He's sieging his tanks up at this position, and he's gonna chill away. But Cats uh, is taking his Cats um, is taking his um, drones off the mineral line. So, but this extractor is going to go down. Now, the thing is, um, it's pretty hard to defend this uh, this expansion over here. I'm gonna lose this mine crawler as well unless it gets canceled. There we go, and. The spine crawler poking away at the marines. Now I think he can use his mutas to deal with these marines. There's not so many marines, but he's gonna lose the hatchery. Thing is, he doesn't seem to care. I mean, uh, he took his drones off. It's like he just let that base go. And there we go. The siege tanks doing some friendly fire to the marines. Seems like he's gonna try to counterattack over here and maybe take this command center out as well. Now that's a lot of bailings, and this is most likely gonna evaporate. And we're gonna see like just that right now. Zergling's going in front, taking most of the fire, and there we go. Goodbye, Planetary Fortress, and let's take... Oh, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. He needs to use these Bailings wisely. Oh, he kind of wasted the rest of the Bailings. I think the smartest thing would have been to just pull back, but yeah. Uh, the Siege Tank's really bad uh, for those Bailings. Now, uh, he is making a lot of bailings again, so this is kind of muta bailing play all the way, but he needs to use his uh, army better. Now, he's probably going to try and take his command center down, and will probably take it unless those marines are going to go in there and really make a difference, like, really fast. thing is, this command center is going to go down really, really fast right now, because these mutas are like... How much is this? Oh, oh, oh gotta be careful, gotta be careful. And... Um, Taking a look at the production tab, already <coughs> this, this infantry 